That's a little too high. There we go. <clears throat> Hello, and today what we are going to talk about on my YouTube channel is about a little teaching lesson. In this, we are going to be talking, we are going to be taking a look at parabolas and how they are useful, why they are important, showing a little bit of calculations on this. By the way, this is for my 12th grade unit 10 pre-calculus project. So what we are going to start off with is a couple definitions. A parabola is, some, is a somewhat obvious definition to figure out, you know, unless you haven't been paying attention in your math, sorry, math class. So <coughs> pay attention. I have ADHD, so I know how it is to not focus. Ooh, there's a squirrel outside eating my nuts! So anyways, we'll start off with a fairly basic definition, at least for algebra terms. So... A parabola is equation. A parabola is a basically a curve with a uh, with I guess you could say a parab yeah a parabola. As you can tell, speaking is not my best thing. But a parabola is a curve that uh, has a focus point that is equidistant from a focus point um, and. Uh, the directrix is, which is basically a horizontal or vertical line, whichever direction the uh, parabola is opening at, that is directly opposite that of the focus. So, um, let's see. In some of the way, the basic definition, the basic equation of a parabola is actually y equals x squared, or you can, or to put it in a function form, f x, or f of x equals x squared, so, um, there's, there is a portion, there's different things that uh, parabolas are useful in, for example, things like telescopes, which is what I'm mainly going to expand upon for the, for an example. Um, car headlights, solar cookers, you may have seen those solar cooker portions and seen that weird curve to them, and that's a parabolic uh, solar cooker there. Um, headlights, car headlights, so most of them nowadays, or not nowadays, but most of them, especially in the older times, were parabolic. Uh, but now, of course, they've got those weird LED types, so... Anyways, I'm going to sh stupid train. I don't know if you guys hear that, but anyways, um I've got a portion in my pictures of plans that I made for a telescope. Let me check something. Let me look for it. Come on. What the heck? Oh, I may have to go to uh There we go. Or is it? Uh, this portion is going to be a little long, so... What the... <laughs> That's weird, but... Hold up, I may have to open this portion with paint. With a paint document. But anyways... For one thing... Um, what we are going to be doing here in this portion for this, that this is a telescope. Right here is the primary mirror. What we are going to try to figure out is the equation of that parab on that parabola given the focus distance. Now, the focus distance is uh, 72 inches. I'll place it as that. Or I don't know. Yeah, I may place it as 72 inches, because it's also 1,828.8 millimeters. Probably don't care about the details, but... Um, so, with that distance from the focus and stuff, I'll keep it... I'll keep it a little bit simple here, because this portion, if you were to keep this parabola at that... Uh, in that same position, the... it would switch around 
the equation from y equals x squared to x equals y squared, which is kind of weird when you think about it, but um, anyways, so what we're going to do, is I'm going to pull up the calculator, so 72 inches, um, 72, and then what you'll want to do, I believe, is um, multiply it by 2, wait, no, oh yeah, you gotta, uh, sorry, 72 divided by 2, equals 36. So that's 36 there. And then, of course, hold on, let me get my Greek calculus book. It's been a while since I've learned about uh, parabolas, so. Okay, so I'm resuming the recording now. Um, so what we are going to want to do, however, is that in reality, since the portion is 36, we will want to, well, 32 over 120, okay, the focus is 86.1. Let me take a look at this. Okay, I know what it is. So actually, the portion here, where it is this distance, by the way, this is supposed to be 12 inches, so will have to be squared, and will have to be cut in half. So, actually 12 divided by 2 equals 6, well, times 6, oops, 6 squared equals 36, okay. So, which is, alright, I may have had the microphone a little bit too high, but anyways, 36, okay, and then the uh, parabola portion would be 36 over 72, which would be 0 0.5, okay. So, just to take a look at this, this is supposed to be uh, properties, okay, 1,828, 305, okay, so, let me check something here, half an inch, right, yeah, half an inch, oops, one half whoops point five times uh twenty five point four equals twelve point seven. So I just wanna make sure that I've got that part correct. Yeah. Need a no outline. There we go. What the hell? It's solid color. There we go. So yeah, that portion is seven pixels, so I got that kind of incorrect. Well, part of uh, learning is making mistakes, right? Anyways, I may have to look at the at my graphing calculator because I remember I had that graphed. Let me pause it again. Okay, so I just figured out something here. Um, what I was wanting to do is that I was wanting to figure out first how far the portion here would be. So, um, first so first off, what I need to do is that I need to do 72 divided by 12 equals 6. <coughs> Wait, that's not correct. Uh, I know it's 0 0.25 inches on that portion. Wait, oh, that is because of the fact that... <coughs> 
Um, let's see. Zero point. Yeah. So Seventy two divided by zero point two five. Two hundred eighty. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Hate my life. Anyways, seventy two divided by four is eighteen. Okay, I think I'm getting there now. And then square roots, I think. Where's square root on here? Square root, square root, square root. Where is that? Uh square roots. It's four point twenty four what? Okay. Wait, seventy two. Twelve by four. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Twelve. Oh, 18 divided by 12 equals 12. Eh. Anyways, I'll just give out the answer here. I'm just going to get confused myself, even though, even though I've done this many, in a sense, many times before. Um, the equation of it is 3.4. Four seven two, and then the two is repeating. Though so what I figured out though for that is, um, let's see, zero point twenty five divided by seventy two is actually equivalent to that. It's zero. It's actually zero point zero zero three four seven two, and then the two is just repeating. So, it just that I can't remember how I got the zero point twenty five portion. It just Kind of weird. Uh, so, anyways, um, another portion that it is useful for, like I said, is um, car headlights. What you don't realize that um, just as in a telescope, in which the light comes in through the front of the thing, reflects back into the telescope where this is in a reflector anyways and then we then actually goes to a focus point in which where that focus point the viewer actually sees the image um, the reverse thing can be applied for a headlight the headlight bulb is placed directly at the focus no, let me okay there we go the car headlight is placed directly at the focus, and the light goes back. And then, due to the curvature of the headlight, it actually reflects the light straight out. So, um, I'll, I believe that'll be it for now. So, um, man. Here, I'll play a little... I'll play a little bit of music here. The Scotsman clad and killed left a bar one evening fair. And one could tell by how he walked that he drunk more than his share. He fumbled round until he could no longer keep his feet. And stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, daddy, oh, ring, di, diddly, I, oh. He stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. About that time, two young and lovely girls just happened by. One says to the other with a twinkle in her eye, See on sleeping Scotsman so strong and handsome built. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, daddy, ho, oh, ring, di, diddly, I, oh. How wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt. They crept upon the sleeping Scotsman, quiet as can be, and lifted up his kilt about an inch so they could see. And there behold for them the view beneath his Scottish skirt. 
was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, daddy, oh, ring, diddle, I, oh, was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. They marveled for a moment, then said, we must be gone. Let's leave a present for our friend before we move along. As a gift they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bow. Around the bunny star, the Scots kilted a lift and show. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, daddy, oh, ring, diddle, I, oh, oh. On the bonny star, the Scots tilted, lift and show. Well, the Scotsman walked to nature's call and he stumbled for the trees. Behind the bush he lifts his kilt and guts at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to what's before his eyes, Oh! God, I don't know where you've been, but I see that you won first prize. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, daddy, oh! Ring, diddle, I, oh! Oh, lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see that you won first prize.